So today I'm going to do my official CD collection video. As of June 20th, 2015, this is my CD collection of CDs I've actually listened to. And here, these are my piles of CDs I need to listen to, so I'm going to talk about these ones up here. The first one I have is American Fangs, American Fangs. Their self-titled album, I guess. It doesn't have the booklet, the thingy, like the cover, because I hung it on my wall. This one is Abandoned Pools, Arm to the Teeth. This one I was actually really surprised by. It's slower, but it's not to the point where it's like boring. Of course, bangers. I did this from Amazon Used, which is why it has the a crack right there, because if I were owning it, there would not be a crack in it. But yeah, she's Bay, and this album is perfect, and I love her so much. She's my favorite person in the entire world. Because of the Internet by Childish Gambino. I sampled a little bit of it and I was going to buy it on iTunes. And then I was at Target like a little bit after that. And I said, you know what, what the heck, might as well just buy it. Best of Both Worlds Concert. The I, This is like the DVD CD thingy. And I have the Breakout Platinum Edition. So it comes with a DVD. And a CD. Okay, this one. <clears throat> I honestly expected it to be a lot more Demi Lovato and Jonas Brothers and a lot less people who you don't care about and who sing terribly. Because there's, there's like four good songs out of the 12 songs on here. Actually, so disappointed by this. Now, of course, Can't Be Tamed by Miley Cyrus. Because she's my favorite person, if you couldn't already tell. Um, I actually got this for my birthday. I got it from one of my friends. Don't forget, which I also got for either my birthday or Christmas. I love this album. I like Demi Lovato, in case you couldn't tell, but I'm not like a cute, like I don't consider myself a fan be just because I don't have like, I only, this is like the only album I have. Gotta Tell You by Samantha Mumba. She's some, like, crazy Irish singer or something, and I was also disappointed by this. So this album is a little bit too much 90s singer for me, like the high-pitched voice, like Britney Spears, high-pitched, like, can't sing nasally kind of sound. This one I was also really surprised by. This is, um, Breed, an EP by Pure. They broke up. They don't make music, sadly. But this is really good, actually. Oh my gosh, my bae. This is Greetings from Imory House by Big Like Five. This is their first album. They don't make music anymore. I really don't know why. Uh, they're like perfection. Like if you like boy bands, um, like kind of pop rock kind of boy bands, then you'll really like this. Okay, now we get to the uh, Hannah Montana section. <laughs> okay, let's start off. We got Hannah Montana. This is just the original Hannah Montana. Miley Cyrus is Hannah Montana. Then I have Hannah Montana 2 slash Mute Miley Cyrus. So this is, this sucks. This album sucks. Hannah Montana 2 Nonstop Dance Party. It's actually nonstop. One track flows into the other. Hannah Montana 3, which I think is the first one that I got. I listen to this like crazy. Look how beat up the songbook is. I literally listen to it over and over and over. Oh, Hannah Montana Forever, which is also really good. Probably my second favorite one. Hannah Montana Hits Remixed, which is also really bad. Hannah Montana The Movie, which I actually really am surprised that I like this album so much. It's, it is really country. Okay, now back to the normal stuff. Um, this is Homeschool Valedictorian by Adelita's Way. That's how I say it. A while, like a long while ago, this band followed me on Twitter. 
and they were like verified so I was like whoa cool and I don't know if I followed them back I think I like checked them out or something this is a lot more rock and the other one's not as rock from what I listened to and I was I bought this because I'd heard of them before and so I just I just buy things if I've heard of them I'll probably buy it this is three days grace which I'm also a huge fan of this is human I haven't listened to it as much as I would like to I actually have two copies of this because I went to their concert and after the concert they had this well no as I was buying this shirt they had this sign that was like on the thing it was like $25 for a meet and greet and a CD so I um, had to pay $25 which was actually really cheap for like a meet and greet with a major band which was it was like the coolest thing I just like um, I met them and they signed my CD but that's actually, I didn't put it up there because I, I felt like I'd like ruin it. Okay. And this is the used Imaginary Enemy. The used is actually really good. I don't have any other albums, but I've listened kind of to their other stuff. Um, I need to get into them more because they're really good. This is really hurting my neck. It's Ali and AJ Into the Rush. And they actually changed their name to like 78 Violet. They actually are really talented, talented, but I don't know, I guess they're okay, I just need to listen to it. Um, this is Chris Allen's self-titled thing, Chris Allen. I really don't think this is for me, I, let me give it to my mom maybe, okay, and then this is my other favorite bay of all time, Sleep with Sirens, oh my god, this is Madness, this was released this year, I got like a magic poster thing with it. Awesome. This is Hilary Duff Metamorphosis. Okay, I don't really know what's going on with me because when I first listened to this, I just, I just, I heard it and I was like, wow, this is off tune, this is terrible, I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know what I was thinking because I really listened to this and it's not even that bad. Like, it's really good. I don't even know if my ears were just like broken or something. I got Millennium by Backstreet Boys. It's okay. I don't really like the last four songs on this album because they're too slow. And then I have this one, which actually, I bought this a long time ago at like Best Buy. And I remember, I remember because I was so angry that instead of coming with a lyric packet, it came with a freaking poster. So this is Justin Bieber's My World. No matter how much you make fun of me, I will still jam out to this because this is friggin' jammin'. Then I have my other favorites of all time, uh, Night Visions, Imagine Dragons. I bought this for my dad for like Father's Day and I was like, oh no no, yeah, it's for like both of us. Like you can have it, but like I'll have it better. Um, This one I bought because I was like looking through the CDs and I was like, wow, I really need to get into more like punk rock. And so I was like, hey, this all time low dude, I've heard of him, right? So I like, I was like, sure, sure, why don't I give, give it a try? And I remember buying it, and I walked out of the CD section, I went to go eat, and I was like, I'm gonna open them up right now, because I'm so excited. And I opened this, and it like completely broke, so I went back to the lady, and I was like, hey, can you fix it? And so she like completely changed the jewel case into like some other thing. <sighs> so yeah. Pull and Repel by Ashen, who only has two albums and stopped making music. Um, this is awful. This is so bad. This is gross. Absolutely appalling. Um, the only instrument that you can hear in this album is the snare drum. There's so much snare drum in this. It's not even funny. I can't even deal with how much freaking snare drum they have in this stupid album. Ran real quick into the thrift store. I was like, I want to buy a CD. So I bought this and I took it home and it's so bad. This one is just an album with remixes of See You Again by Miley. This is really gross. I thought it was going to be good and it sucks. Here's we have Smoke and Mirrors right here. Whoa, that was really... You only get these four tracks if you buy the CD. Only available at Target. He's like, don't do that. We got BBC Volume 2 Number 1 Music and Month by Month Collection of BBC Classics. And this is Symphony Fantastic Fantastic by Berlioz. So there's five tracks, and we have Daydreams Dash Passions, 
which is 15 minutes long. We have a ball, which is six minutes long. We have in the meadows, 15 minutes long. March to the scaffold, which is six minutes long. And Sabbath night's dream, which is nine minutes long, making it 53 minutes long. Five songs. Okay, so basically I, what I think this is, is this is like a symphony this guy wrote, Berlioz or whatever, about this girl that he liked. Like, basically. And so, here. The first, Daydreams Dash Passions, reflects wavering joys, fears, and frustrations in the face of amatory obsession. The second, a ball, recalls happier times, but a chance encounter with the beloved deflates its high spirits. Which is like, at the end, it's like, bum bum bum. <laughs> In the Meadows opens to the pastoral piping of two shepherds and ends with distant thunder. The March to the Scaffold reports the artist attempted suicide, his dreams of killing the woman he loved, and his death by the guillotine. A machine with heavy blades slicing vertically in grooves used for beheading people. That thing do you, that they use to chop people's heads off. Sabbath Night's Dream finds him among spirits, sorcerers, and monsters preparing for his own funeral. And that's the end. Oh, I died. The end. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 original motion picture soundtrack. So this is a soundtrack to The Hunger Games. This soundtrack was put together by Lord, so it's a lot of like strange alternative music. I just don't see how some of these songs could fit in with the movie whatsoever. It just, you know, like, it's good as an album, but as a soundtrack to the actual movie. Like, do you actually think they used All My Love by, Ari by Ariana Grande and Major Lazer? Like, have you listened to that song? Have you watched the movie, girl? Do you know? Okay, then we have The Time of Our Lives by Miley, All Time Bay. Three Days Grace, Self Time, Three Days Grace album. First album. Uh, I got this for Christmas, uh, like last, not last year, yeah, last year, sometime, a while ago. Um, this is Winona by Winona Dread, so it's like her self-titled thing. Um, she's like a country singer. I, I usually don't like country, but I do like this album. Like, some of them are, like, some of the songs, <laughs> some of the songs are kind of long and, like, boring, but, 